Hey, hello, welcome back. This is Shilpa here. And today we're going to look at the quest feature. Now, um, the first thing first, this is my home request next gen offline software. And I'm just on my opening screen here. I'm going to get into the quest feature, which you can get from the tab here. Okay, so what is quest? So Quest is a unique feature which I've not found in any other software till date. And the reason for that is there are two functions in Quest. One is it's a combined search for your words from both the repertory and the Metro Medica to give you the top remedies. And two, when you add multiple symptoms and do multiple searches for your patient's words, it starts to repertorize them. And the way it does is, it does it not just from the repertories, but also from the Mature Medica. So in short, this is a combined repertorization analyzer from not just your repertories, but also your Mature Medica. So you get this whole database in your software covered under one roof. Now, this is the feature that we formulated when I was in my rural clinic in India. And the reason for that was this is a fantastic tool to combine everything together. Whatever steps you take in repertorization, you combine everything together and you quickly analyze your cases within five minutes. That was the whole reason. We had like 50, 100 people waiting for us and I wanted to do everything in five minutes. Uh, I didn't want to waste time searching, repertorizing, reading from the Metro America, you know. So it re dramatically reduces the time that you would spend reading on Metro America for those final selection from the repertory grade right so let's start with the case again so let i have a case for you today and this is a case by father so this was what he had so this is an archived case i love doing cured cases with you from the past masters and this is another one of that so he said a friend of mine recently had an, an attack of what was diagnosed as gastritis he had empty retching continuously retching uh, Fatic's son had actually given him arsenicum and epicac, but with no result. So they admitted him to the hospital for investigation, could not come to a diagnosis. And then he also found that he had vomiting without nausea and a rapid fast pulse. So that's what you have, right? Complete stage one, but a really interesting case. So we have three or four important things here okay and this is where i got it so we have vomiting without nausea we have a fast pulse and we have this empty continuous retching going on simple so this is basically what we have let's try and do it in quest so in quest you first start putting in just the way you do in repertory search you exactly do the same in quest so i'm going to put the first one vomiting space without space nausea Okay, and I hit search. So now, when I do that, what's happening is these are the top remedies that come up for vomiting without nausea. Okay, and remember, Quest works with a Quest analysis. So you know you have a repertorization tab and you have a Quest analysis tab. We're looking at the Quest analysis tab because this is what works with Quest part right so this graph is nothing but exactly the representation of these remedies here right uh put in order and i'll come to that a bit later but just remember these are uh, the top remedies so if you are here by default epicac is selected this column will show you all the results for epicac with vomiting without nausea you know, this is from the Rogers Complete Repertory, from Bonninghausen, from Nairs, Herring's Guiding. And now look at that. You have also got from the Ellen's Encyclopedia of Metro America. As I've mentioned before, you're also going to get it from the Metro America. You have another symptom by Herring's Guiding Metro America and so on and so forth. So loads of, you know, Clark's Dictionary of Metro America, Ellen's Keynotes and tons of that, right? Now, the second remedy is ferrum. And now these are the results for ferrum. 
So if there is a rubric, you also find the other remedies in that. And so these are the different, you know, this is Robert's sensation as if, again, a metromedica here, um, which you have heat with proper, you know, with, without nausea or inclination to vomit and so on and so forth. So can you see these are all the results from Encyclopedia of Allen's uh, Herring's Guiding Symptom. Now, if you want to check where this is coming from, you just click on the book name and you land right where that symptom is inside that book under Ferrum. So far, so good. So this is what Quest is, you know, you don't really have to think a lot. It just completely gives you. So this is apomorphinum, possibly, graphitis, and so on. And this is the column where you get the information. All right? Okay. Now, let's put the second symptom. What was that? I think it was pulse was fast. So now I'm going to put in fast pulse. Okay, so what happens when I put in fast pulse is now these are the top remedies for fast pulse. Okay, and so you have lachesis, you have lycopodium, pol you know, phosphorus, sulfur, and this is, this column will denote the symptoms of the remedy selected. So these, these are the symptoms of sulfur, these are the symptoms of arsenicum and so on. These are the symptoms of lachesis, right? Now, the graph below has changed. This graph doesn't just represent vomiting without nausea. Now it is a combination of fast pulse and vomiting without nausea. So this is that combined, you know, graph which shows you the top crossing and combining the top remedies for vomiting without nausea and fast pulse. You with me here? So this is basically a repertorization ready-made on the platter for you for these two symptoms. Okay, now let's put in the third symptom and that was empty retching. Okay, so, sorry, where are we? Quest, empty retching. Remember I put part words, so you know, you get retching, retches, whatever. Search. Now, these are the top remedies for empty retching. You have colosynthesis, you have arsenicum, you have nux vomica, you have ignatia. And, you know, what happens is this column again will show you the top remedies for empty retching. Now, this is nux vomica. So you see it from the complete. You see it from Lippe's repertory, from Bonninghausen, from Kent's lectures, and Matra Medica of the Bonninghausen, empty retching of drunkards. So you see what's happening here? But... This graph will now show you the combined analysis from these three symptoms. Vomiting without nausea, fast pulse and empty retching. So this is your quest analysis. And you see the remedies have changed again. You know, you have Viratrum viridae, arsenicum, ignatia, nux vomica, belladonna and so on. Okay, so that's it. So two minutes and your repertorization or matra medica analysis and everything together is done. You don't have to go and read now the matra medica because this is the top. Uh, it's already in there. You don't have to really go and seek out, right? Now, just like the repertory search, you also have an option here of going and looking at, um, you know, choosing what books you want the symptoms to be searched from. So by default, you see the it's searched from all the repertories here in my database, and it's also searched from all the Metro America. But say you want to search from one single Metro America or repertory or chosen book. So say I have gastritis just for, and I want to search this only from, I don't want the Kenton repertories, like, you know, I don't want Rogers repertory, I don't want Kent's repertory, I just want it from the Bonninghausen repertories, and I also don't want it from Jeremy Shares, okay? So I'll just tick them off and these are my basically Bonninghausen type repertories here and I say okay and then I search it from only those books and what do you get you get gastritis now only from the Boriki, the Clarkey, the Nairs and so on you don't get it from the other repertories okay similarly say you want to have an option to search um, Say we again select all repertories here and I just want to search it only from the Metro America. So I just don't want any repertories 
I just want to search it from Metro America. Okay, so let's try that. I will just say stomach. Okay, a big one, and say search. Okay, now look at that. All the rubrics, sorry, all the symptoms of the stomach are only from the Metro America now. And this is beautiful because if you don't want, if you want to eliminate the repertories and only do a classical Metromedica analysis or repertorization, this is wonderful. So you have arsenicum coming up, stomach symptoms from Allen's, from tons of symptoms from Allen's Encyclopedia because it's a never land ending stomach symptoms there. Um, and look at that, herrings guiding symptoms. Then you have herrings again, tons of symptoms from herrings there. Then you have Clarkis, Metromedica, and so on. Similarly for phosphorus and sulfur and lycopodium. So you get the point. You can actually go and put in those options and do that, right? So we're going to not have these big ones because we have some beautiful symptoms. So I'm just going to delete them. And I'm also going to delete my gastritis symptom. Okay. And then we just use these three keynotes, right? Okay. And so this is the remedy that I get, veratrum, viridae, arsenicum, ignatia, and so on. Let's see what the patient had. Okay, the remedy that dramatically relieved this patient was veratrum, viridae. Now let's go and read veratrum here. Check my favorite book, Bojor. Uh, yes, you have some action on the stomach. Let's look at what it is. It's in a violent congestion, cerebellar or thoracic with nausea and vomiting and weakness and staggering. We go down and check for stomach symptoms and look at that. Violent vomiting without nausea, which was the keynote. Hiccups and esophagitis and so on. So can you see Viratrum just comes up, Viratrum Viridae, who would have thought of that uh, for this particular patient? And that was what really helped the patient very well. Now, so the key thing about Quest, and you know, it's quite interesting, Viratrum came up right at the top. Somebody was asking me, how are these remedies actually graded in Quest? You know, how do these remedies come up for fast pulse? What are the different ways this gradation happens? So there are a few things that happen here. You have to realize that the remedies are sorted and graded, you know, and churned out according to three different things. One is based on their grades in the repertories. Okay, so higher the grade higher that remedy comes up in the quest analysis in the list of those remedies the second thing is the grade is also done by original authors in large metro medicals who have given certain symptoms gradation so say for example allen's encyclopedia herring's guiding symptoms what they've done in their books is they've graded every symptom given by the author and that's what we use as well to grade these remedies. So we're considering the Metro America aspect into this analysis. And the third and the very vital thing on how they're graded, if everything else is the same, um, say the grade by the repertories for two different remedies is same, and also the, the authors in the Metro America have given the same grade, then we then grade them according to how many times a particular author or how many different authors have indicated a remedy uh, high in from their clinical use and so very very strong clinically proved remedies are churned up higher irrespective of what grade they have in the repertories this is very important and that's why you know and we have tested it by putting in hundreds and hundreds of such cured cases from the archives and we have tested the program and in 90 percent of the cases the curative remedy comes up either as the first remedy or in the first five now, you know, just the first remedy doesn't mean that's the best remedy, right? But it just gives you, Quest just gives you clear-cut options. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a comparison of the Quest analysis with, you know, the repertorization. So you get an idea here because, yeah, Quest is an amazing tool. It combines, it analyzes, it repertorizes from both the repertory and the Metro Medica. It's wonderful for cutes. I exclusively use it in all acutes, but even if there is no acute, even in my chronic cases, I exclusively use Quest and then I do a repertorization as well. So we have two, sim two different prongs here working for the case. And 
it saves me a lot of time because I'm not reading from the Metromedica here, but I can look at the common remedies between repertorization and quest analysis. And that's why my naturopathic students also love this because they're not spending time reading pages and pages of Metromedica. Everything is in one click. So what I've done is I've also done repertorization here for the same three symptoms. We have vomiting, nausea without, we have rapid pulse and ta tachycardia, and we have ineffectual empty gagging. Okay, and now let's look at the top remedies that are covering. We have Epicac, we have Arnica, we have Arsenicum, we have Bryonia, we have Zincum, we have Epimorphinum, we have Morcor, Sabina, Viratrum Viridae, and Antincarb. Now, have you noticed something here? All these remedies are equally important in a way. And so in a traditional repertorization, what we would have done is gone and looked at each remedy and read it from the Metro Medica and possibly made your decision, right? What happens in Quest? The best curative remedy just churns up right at the top without you having to do anything because the Metro Medica data has been considered. Do you know why? I'll give you a very interesting example here. So let's look at the repertorization and look at what's happening here. So look at what is happening for, say, vomiting, nausea without. You know, now this person has been given Epicac. This person has been given Arsenicum. They haven't worked. It was Viratrum which helped this person. And it was not a wrong thing. I mean, they are highly indicated remedies from your repertorization. So it was not a wrong prescription. But it didn't do the job here for some reason. So what's happening is, look at um, vomiting without nausea. You have Epicac at four grade and ratrum you have a very low grade which is one fair enough let's see what happens in quest in quest we have vomiting without nausea epicac yeah the highest remedy here where is ratrum ratrum is you know it has vomiting without nausea but it's not as highly graded as epicac fair enough okay let's look at the second symptom we have pulse rapid tachycardia we have epicac at four and Viratrum at four. So they are equally graded, okay? Let's look at quest analysis and see what's happening for fast rapid pulse. You have no Epicac here. Viratrum comes up strongly in the first six, okay? So look at that, pulse rapid, and you know, Viratrum has tons of, um, you know, from the Ken, from the nerves. And then where is Epicac? Well, it's not there in the first 10, 20, 30, what's happening here? Can you see? I cannot see Epicat coming up at all. There it is. And look at that. It has come up in, in Kent and it has come up in Nails, but only two people. Whereas for Viratrum, it is highly graded because so many entries have been done by different authors for Viratrum, which haven't been done for Epicac. And so Viratrum has a much more clinical presence. And so it's higher grade in Quest than in repertorization, where both of them are considered just equal. Can you see there? And now let's look at stomach retching, empty retching. Now, uh, Epicac is four grade and Viratrum is just one grade. What happens in Quest analysis for Empty retching, Viratrum again comes up here, above Epicac. Interesting, why? Because Viratrum has so many different people say yes, put their hands up for, because it has been clinically used so many times. Why, you know, it has been in the complete, in the Bonninghausen, in the nails. Look at that, herrings. So an Epicac has got lesser number of confirmations from the Metro Medica. So Epicac comes actually lower than Viratrum in the clinical confirmation world, but in repertorization, unfortunately, it has just got one grade. So can you see the difference? Why some, you know, so what's the beauty of quest analysis is that it actually gives you clinically confirmed things right at the top. So you do not miss out on that data, which never ever comes up in your repertorization. So 
hope that really helps you and hope that you know inspires you to use quest as much as you can for most of your cases and yeah when you you know do a comparison with the traditional repertorization and sometimes with traditional repertorization you might just be able to choose the best remedies from comparing both of them but just uh, you know this was just to show you the advantage of quest and just the way you can do amazing things with quest and give like you no know, two minutes how long did we take to repertorize this you know analyze this case three symptoms two minutes and they're bang on with atrum viridae and you would have uh, you know looked at that oh, yes arsenic was important and ignatia is important and whatnot you know in the pica has come way down not not in the analysis for me but you could look at those, but you would never have missed Veratrum Viridae for this case. You would have actually looked up and che you know, checked what's happening there. So I would love if you start, you know, putting in quest analysis for your cases and um, have fun home your questing. And I love to hear your feedback and you share your stories and, you know, uh, prescriptions and follow-ups with me here. So enjoy it. Take care.